Yo, Jesus Christ, this is weird. Yeah. Right, um, so I've just finished Calamity, um, and I've just gone down to the um, abyss to get this terminus thing, this boss rush mode. I've already tried it, um, and I've gotten pretty close. Um, I got to Providence and got hammered because for some reason he was enraged. So that was a pain. But we're going to try it again. Um, we are using the Demon Shade armor, which is like the best armor, I think, at the end of the game. Um, especially for me since I do melee. So the increased melee speed and melee speed, melee speed and damage is nice. And um, the accessories, we're using the Core, the Blood God, the Elemental Gauntlet, the Asgardian Aegis, Celestial Tracers, uh, Draydon's Heart, and the Community, which is now fully buffed. Because um, I've killed every boss in the game. Besides the Torch God, but I don't think he counts as a boss. If he does, let me know. But like, am I going to fight him? Absolutely not. But why I'm going to fight is this. So let's activate the Terminus. And the, the first like, 10 bosses are pretty hard mode, so I can they should just stand still. It's just, as you can see. I think it's melted. It's like... The good thing about the Demon Shade armor is if you press Q, um, this little skull appears where you can enrage the enemy. So you do a lot more damage. I mean, you take a bit more damage, but you do way more damage against the boss because it, it angers them. So as you can see, the beta world can get absolutely melted. It's crazy. Same with the same with the Brain of Cthulhu. Like, all, all these three hard mode ones are just pretty much fodder for me, for me to talk at this point. So. Yeah, um, but I will say that Clavity was a really fun mod to play. Um, I have played this on normal mode. I, I might revisit this on the Revengeance for a 100 days video thing I'm gonna do. Because I've been seeing a lot of people do them, and those are my, my type of video to make. So I definitely enjoy watching people do those. Um, like, to, to name a few people, like CJ Deathbot, uh, Necro, um, Skeleton. Well, I just killed him, but there's a guy called Skeleton who I just discovered today who's actually pretty good as well. Um, Adrian as well, Adrian's a really good horror YouTuber that I like, um, there's a bunch of them really. Um, so I'm definitely interested in doing said things, it's just, I don't know, I don't know. Because doing this in normal mode was fine, it was, it was really, it, it had its moments, it got really hard, like I remember fighting um, the Exomex, I could not for the life of me defeat those things, it took me like 15 attempts. Um, and then bosses like Yaron and Supreme Calamitous, I got in like second, like my first, second uh, attempt because they're not that hard. But that is because it's on normal mode, maybe that's why. Um, it's, just, it's just a lot easier. Um, I had more trouble with Providence than I did the end game boss, which is weird. Providence is a weird one because you have to fight it um, at night, so it's, it's, it's a night boss. And you can fight it underground, like in hell, or the hollow biome. Um, I just fight it in hell because, like, you go, you, you do that and you can instantly go to uh, Cygnus, just, like, straight away. Who is probably one of the easier ones I've fought in this whole thing. Same with this Calamitous clone, I mean, I'm getting hit here, but it's just all about the, uh... Like, if, if you can dodge, because Calamity is, like, a really, like heavy mobility based mod like if you know how to move around in Terraria like with dodging you're fine you'll be absolutely fine but um I should also also mention I'm using the elemental like Excalibur as you can see here um this thing is insane so it basically does like I want to say homing rainbow swords um they change color apparently but I haven't noticed it but basically it can heal you um and most of the time it does home um so it will just do damage non-stop I'm also using the endogenesis, which you get from, uh, yeah, it's a craftable item actually, I to mention that. Um, it's a mixture of the cryogenic staff, um, some shadow spec bars, some ascendant spirit essences, I think, and then something else. But it, it's it's uh, not difficult to make, um, it's really good as well. But if you are doing this event on normal mode, or just, well, I say normal mode, like just any mode, I guess. I do recommend the Draydon's Heart accessory. Um, so you may have seen this bar right here, this nano bar. Basically, if it's full, um, you can press whatever button you want to bind it to. For me, it's Q. Um, no, 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 it's not Q. It's uh, my right mouse button, like side button. 
Um, basically, you can just press it to heal. It heals you for quite a lot as well. And it also um, reduces the amount of damage you take. I think it's like 50% uh, damage reduction uh, while, while you heal. So it, it's really good for, for clutching up fights. It helped me a lot with um, the extra mechs because it's just... Well, I say that. You, you have to fight the extra mechs to get it. I'm not sure if it's when you kill the giant worm last, Penathos. Um, he's the only one I actually did kill last anyway. So I think regardless, you have to kill him last. But trust me, equip it. No matter what uh, class you're playing, it will help you because it will give you a bunch of HP. And it gives you a lot of defense. So I think it's like 48 defense on its own. Or 46. It's insane. So trust me. I can have a look actually. Um, yeah, 48 defense, 15% reduced content damage, and reduces damage taken by 50%. It, it's a really good accessory, especially for uh, Supreme Calamitous, because Supreme Calamitous is not as bad as people think. I mean, it is, this, is a, this is a normal mode, so I'm being a bit like biased here, but I had, I had more fun... No, I had more trouble fighting um, like Poltergast and Yaron more than Supreme Calamitous in normal mode. So if you're playing Calamity for the first time, Calamitous is not that hard. If you just know how to use your wings properly, you're fine. I mean, you could have playing Guardian like instantly there. The next one should be uh, Dragon Folly, yeah. The, the Dragon Folly is always a really hard boss um, when I fought it, like at, at, at the stage of progression that you fight at. I mean, this is, this is my first time beating Calamity technically. Um, like I've already played it and I got to Supreme Clamus and I didn't realize Supreme Clamus was a boss, I thought it was an NPC. So I didn't actually fight it, so I couldn't say I, I killed Supreme Clamus, but here's Providence. The only reason that I struggled here was because of day when it goes to daytime, it, uh, it burns you quite a lot. Frame rate is a massive issue here. Please tell me it's going to be fine for the recording. I don't know. Oh. Call my game break then. Make sure we're still recording at least. Yeah, let's go. Uh, right, so we've got a bunch of coins there. Let's go. Caesar's Void is really easy as well. Um, at, at, at the stage of the game that you get to as well, the, your best bet is to not use grappling hooks until it's phased, when it becomes uh, when it starts sucking you in. So I've heard a lot of people say you just grapple hook the whole fight and just like hold down the thing. It doesn't work. You have to use it at the very end of a, a phase. Otherwise you're just in deep trouble, but let's get rid of all these. And then Caesar's Void should go down. Already. It has it's, it's imploding. So here, just use it here, you won't get sucked in. That's how it works. Moving on to I think it's Cygnus next. Uh, no Storm Weaver. Oh yeah, because it's uh, Storm Weaver, Caesar's Void, and Cygnus that are the uh, three like mini bosses before the Barrow of Gods. So it will be Cygnus next. Uh, Cygnus, I mean, Cygnus just dies here, it's just, it's not that hard of a fight, uh, again, it's just the case of, like, it will, it will TP on you, so just be careful, but if you can, if you have, like, pretty good speed accessories, like, tracers, or even Terra Spark Boots, to be honest, but, Portagast here, not even a challenge, it's just, it's just a glorified Pantera, it's just a buffed up Pantera, basically, but, the old Duke, this guy did give me trouble, normally, um, because you, you're meant to fight him before you fight the mechs, but I did it the other way around. So, no, before you fight um, Devourer, sorry. I did it the other way around, I fought Devourer first, which is a, uh, you know, fun. And he should spawn in now, yeah. So, I think it's doing it in order of progression, and I did it the wrong way around, normally. Because I went straight to this after fighting uh, the last of the three mini bosses, which was for me. Um, who was it? I think it was Stormweaver. Because I did... No, it would have been Poltergast. I don't know. I, I think about the boss progression in this game. But yeah, I thought I'd mention as well um, about the lack of uploads on the channel. I've, I've been wanting to do this Calamity thing for ages. Like, I wanted to record the whole session and I kind of forgot to do that. But I want to do it 100 days in Terraria, um, like normal series. Um, playing as a ranger, I've never played it before. That'd be fun. Uh, next one should be Yaron, yep. Yaron is a really cool fight. Uh, if you want to listen to some good music, listen to this guy's um, 
theme song on Spotify. Oh no. I'll leave if if I remember, I'll leave a link in the description to it and to the YouTuber that I mentioned before. Uh, my HP was going there, Jesus Christ. Okay, it's gonna be a uh, max, yeah. So we get to choose here. Um, I'm gonna pick. Artemis and Apollo because they're really easy. They're basically like glorified twins, but because my weapon does that, does that much damage. As you can see, like it just, it just melts the mechs. It, it's, it's already killed Ares and Thingy, so it's just the worm left. So this is normally what you'll fight last. Um, the four Supreme Climbers. Not that hard. It took me like three or four attempts. I mean, I, I did die more times than the Supreme Climbers. I, I didn't, didn't even die to Supreme Climbers. I did it the first time, but. It can, it, it, it can get hard if you don't have the right thing, but it's just, if you can understand the patterns, it'll be fine, but near the end of this now, um, we use this, this mount that I got from the XMX, which is really helpful, because it basically acts like a, uh, a flying mount, and you can help dodge in these attacks, except I just can't seem to dodge them, I don't the game. But one thing as well, I don't know if it will happen to me, because my PC does it sometimes, but if you're playing this mod and your PC is like not as bulky or strong as other people's, like mine's like my PC is not like the greatest, you know. It it, it, it does what it, what it can do. It plays a bunch of games better than I thought it could, to be honest. But it just it it, it does what I paid for it to do. But um, if you are using a PC that's not exactly like the the greatest, I do recommend um, turning off the rain in the game whenever you can so there is an item called the torrential tear which will basically like if you want it to spawn a rainfall it can and if it is raining you can turn it off just because your game will lag um because of so many projectiles and rain counts as projectiles in the game so it is a uh, quite a thing and, um i can't lie I, I can barely see anything because i forgot that my my summon is also doing projectiles uh, like the massive blue beams that you're seeing and i can't tell the difference because the screen climbers is currently shooting out uh, them but that's what it is okay i should have nano in a minute i do thank god because i'm somehow almost choking this fight i don't, I, I don't want to die here that's kind of an out um yeah so just to keep people like glued in in what the boss rush actually is it's a combination of but it, it's, it's every boss in the game um like modded and unmodded um basically put on the malice mode setting which is like the hardest setting for them so like they, they got a bunch of ai changes the ai is all like messed up i mean i've, I've already beat the whole event so i just wanted to flex that but Yeah, it's like a combination of all the things, and all you get for a bus rush is a rock. I don't know what it does, to be honest. Is it a material? It is not. I think it generally is just a rock. <laughs> I mean, I'll take it, but no. No thanks. I've got 400 platinum coins for that. Jesus Christ. A bunch of healing potions. A bunch of all sorts. I mean, look at this. This is what I had to do to spawn in the Exomex. I had to make all these power cell factories that were making power cells. I mean, I can... I wish I had 900 to begin with, but you had to, like, decrypt all these schematics, and it took a long time, because you had to, like, in, in, like, decrypt one to get this, and then this, and this, and it was just not even worth it, to be honest, but we've done it anyway. We've got a rock. I'm so happy that we got a rock. Let's put that in there, and uh, that's where I'm going to leave it. So, um, again, I will come back to uploading regularly. Um, Half-Life will come back as well. I did forget to even keep playing Half-Life 2. I, I will do that. Um, because I know a lot of people enjoyed the first two episodes. Um, I really enjoyed editing them. It's just, like, I kind of just forgot about it, to be honest. And I was playing Calamity. This year out of the blue. So, I apologize for that. But, if you want a, a more detailed guide to Calamity and what to do for certain uh, stages, let me know. But, anyway, thank you for watching. Uh, it's been... Oh, I was going to say it's been your boy. I don't want to sound cringe, but... It's been Carl Donuts. Have a great rest of your day. Uh, and I will see you in a bit.